Boom! Shake the room, Fire Nation. JLD here, and welcome to Entrepreneurs on Fire, brought to you by the HubSpot Podcast Network with great shows like Success Story Podcast. Today, we're pulling a timeless EO Fire episode from the archive, so the giveaway may not be active, and we'll be breaking down the steps to business success. To drop these value bombs, I have brought Clay Clark into EO Fire Studios. Clay is the former US SBA Entrepreneur of the Year, founder of six multi million dollar companies, a Forbes contributor, author of of 13 books and host of the six times iTunes chart topping podcast. And today, Fire Nation will talk about how most people have allowed the process of optimizing their website to become overly complicated. Here's how to simplify understanding the urgency of the situation. And whatever you do, do it well, Fire Nation. And here's how to do that and so much more. Clay, say what's up to Fire Nation and share something interesting about yourself that most people don't know. What is going on there, Fire Nation? I have uh, 30 chickens, 14 cats, north of 40 fire extinguishers, <laughs> and I've had enough day quilt today to kill a small goat. No wonder why you haven't moved to Puerto Rico yet, because that is a lot of baggage, my friend, that's going on there. <laughs> in Fire Nation, Clay was actually last on Entrepreneurs on Fire back in 2015. So it's been over four years. So there's yeah. been a lot going on in your world, brother. I've been keeping some tabs. I've been being filled in by my team here. But share with Fire Nation the new projects that you've been up to since we last chatted. Well, we have a men's grooming lounge chain. It's kind of like a haircuts meets country clubs called Elephant in the Room. And we just opened up three additional locations in the past uh, five years, uh, two in Oklahoma City and another one in Tulsa. And we have thousands of members. It's a membership-based model. We do that, that business is doing well. Um, and I released a new book called Search Engine Domination that we're selling a lot of copies of right now on Amazon. And my wife and I, we just bought... Uh, 39 acres that has uh, like a pond and a lake where we're in the process of building Camp Clark and Chicken Palace. Whoa. And I just finished my Camp Clark and Chicken Palace here, but I'm now expanding from 17 acres to the 39. And we're going to start uh, hosting our workshops there as opposed to at the office building where we currently have a big old 20,000 square foot facility. Oh, so exciting. You have so much stuff going on. It makes me feel so lazy. But looking back over your journey, Clay, you started your first multi-million dollar company, not just like million, not six figure. We're talking yep. multi-million dollar company, djconnection.com at 18 years old. So you were very successful at a very young age. What do you attribute that early success to? Well, I, I stuttered as a kid and uh, that wasn't good. And uh, I had a, I won't get make to make the show dark, but I had some abuse that happened at a very young age. And then my parents saw what was happening and stopped it, but it, it happened, you know. And then when you stutter, you get made fun of. And so I think you take your bitterness and you can turn it into betterness or turn your bitterness and turn it into, uh, you know, Eminem songs. And I, I became a DJ. And so I kind of dressed, dressed like Eminem, kind of acted like Eminem, but I was very, very good at, at DJing. And I just had this mindset of like, I'm going to prove everybody wrong. And I had one mentor, his name was Uncle Jerry, and he had eyes that looked like a raccoon. And I was living with him because my dad's parents passed away uh, uh, in an unexpected turn of events. And so my dad's an only child. He's down in Waco, Texas, taking care of the, the, the home. And I get shipped up to Minnesota to live with this Uncle Jerry with the raccoon eyes. And Uncle Jerry, I didn't know it. It turns out, John Lee Dumas, turns out he's super rich. I didn't know my uncle was rich. <laughs> and so he told me if I didn't get up at five and feed the chickens, I couldn't eat. And I thought, oh. well, let's play a game. Let's play the game of chicken about the chickens. So I decided to not get up. And then he didn't serve me breakfast and he didn't serve me dinner. And I thought, this guy's not, not kidding. And over time, <laughs> I developed this thing called a work ethic. And Jerry had the thing, if you have time to watch TV, don't do push-ups. So my parents shipped a fat kid to Minnesota who was lazy. And when they came to move to Minnesota, due to financial reasons, they found a very physically fit kid who worked very hard all the time, who had been taught the art of the grind from my Uncle Jerry. So Fire Nation, I really just hope you realize that you can instill these habits in your kids, in your family, in your loved ones. I mean, this is not something that you are stuck just because you may be fat and lazy one day, day one doesn't mean you need to be fat and lazy day two. Like it literally yep. could start today. And man, I just wonder how many times you've actually just said, thank goodness for that situation, because it's obviously created the person that you are today, who is literally the least lazy person that I personally know. And I mean, you've just done so 
many things. And I kind of want to get into um, your most recent thing, which is your book, Search Engine Domination, because it's all about dominating these search engines. But where do most people go wrong when it comes to that specific tactic? Well, most people have allowed the process of optimizing their website to become overcomplicated. And they end up hiring a search engine optimization firm that, that tells them that optimizing a website is more complicated than uh, designing a nuclear submarine or, or, or drawing a, a <laughs> blueprint for building a professional football stadium with like, with like a big retractable dome. And really, if everybody will take a moment and just do a search for Tulsa Pediatric Dentistry. That's one of my partner clients, Tulsa Pediatric Dentistry. And if you do the search, you say, oh, look, it's Morrow Lyon Kitterman coming up top. Why is that? If you Google search... Um, Tulsa, let's go with Tulsa, uh, irrigate Tulsa sprinkler systems, Tulsa sprinkler systems. You'll see one of my clients living water irrigation comes up top. If you Google search Dallas real estate photography, you'll find one of my clients full package media comes up top. So I have 160 clients who we've helped to grow $2.3 billion this year. John Lee Dumas, $2.3 billion wow. of revenue this year, 160 clients who have literally grown by $2.3 billion this year. Um, Shawhomes.com grew from $37 million, we're talking about building houses, to $80 million. And as of the time we're recording this, it's not the end of the year yet. Goodness. This is Think about this. So when you learn the systems, everyone goes, I know, I, 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 we all use Google. We all use Google. I, I, they say, I'm going to do my research. I'm going to Google that. When, and when Dave Berlin told me about your show five years ago, he said, Dave was one of my employees. And he said, you got to listen to John Lee Dumas. He's the man. <laughs> On fire. <laughs> this him every day. This guy's on. He's sick. He has an unbelievable work ethic. This guy is so consistent, Clay. You'd love this guy. I do. I say I'm going to do my research, which which consists of what? A Google search. So we all we everybody uses Google, but no one knows how it works. And so I decided to distill it into a system that an idiot like myself, uh, who took my ACT three times, algebra three times, I put it into a system step by step that everybody can do it paint by numbers. And I fill it with over 50 verifiable case studies with phone numbers. So you can call these people and verify it worked. I got their permission. Fire Nation, there's a reason why Google is now a verb. It's like to search. It's because it has become that word now. And that's why we do everything on Google. Google Maps, we search for things. Google, we search for things. Google this, Google that. Like it is literally the word that we use because that's what we do when we want to find any information out. So obviously we just talked about a lot of things that people get wrong. They try to overcomplicate things. They listen to the wrong people, all these different things. But what are some just practical reasons why people should optimize their website? Well, okay. Um, unless you hate money, um, you should probably <laughs> optimize your website. Fire Nation loves money, just for the record. Yeah, this is the theme song of people that hate money. <laughs> you get the little communist national anthem. If you're playing this while listening to today's show, I would encourage <laughs> you to not optimize your website. But seriously, what you want to do <laughs> is you are you got to understand that full package media. The guy who started the company, Thomas, was a uh, um, he was a, a, a driver, a, a paramedic driver. Thomas Crossan was a paramedic driver. Three years ago, he just passed a million dollars of gross revenue with a 35% profit margin. He just bought a Tesla cash. I mean, my company, if you Google search Tulsa men's haircuts, Tulsa men's haircuts, um, you'll see elephant in the room. My company comes up top. That's a multi-million dollar company. If you Google right now, everybody Google Bill Belichick's number one fan, but use the number sign. And who comes up top? I do. Why? Because I know how Google works. If you Google search <laughs> carpet cleaning quotes, uh, one of the brands I coach, OxyFresh, we have 400 locations now, John. We just passed 400 franchises that are open because we're topping Google. It, it, Bill Belichick's number one fan and America's number one business coach, Clay Ca Clark, teaches many people successful management principles. That's unbelievable. And his assistant rejected me, Burj Najarian, a great guy, by the way. His job is to make sure that idiots like me do not interrupt Bill Belichick. But if you Google search Burj, B-E-R-J, Najarian, I now come up top for his name because I recognized if he's going to reject me, I must come up top for his name. <laughs> That's so great. That's yeah. so great. It's a beautiful thing and everybody can do it. It's a move. I mean, John Lee Dumas, when you started, I, I know I shouldn't interview the interview. Er, no, please do. When you started EO Fire, you had to feel like it wasn't going to work. It's not totally. going to happen. No, you just grinded, you grind, you did it. And here you are. That's so cool. And everybody out there can do it. We can all, and we're just, we're, you and me, we just encourage people. We, and I want to give you a, a practical step so you don't leave feeling like an Easter bunny going, wow, I'm motivated, but now what? I'm just teaching you the what. This is what, these are the steps to take, man. 
Give us a general overview of how to optimize a website. I mean, we're all fired up about it. We see how you've done it with Bill Belichick and all these. I mean, I want to know the general oh. overview. How do we do this? Well, step one, and I'm giving a ton of free stuff to your listeners because yes. you're the best caster out there. So here's the deal. If you will leave a review of, on, on the John Lee Dumas on the EO Fire Show, so if you'll find the EO Fire Show on iTunes or uh, uh, Spotify or iHeart, whatever, and leave a review about the John Lee Dumas show here, the EO Fire show, and screenshot that beast and send it to me to info at thrivetimeshow.com. My team will do a 30 minute assessment with you for free. And what? I know there's hundreds of thousands you of you. You are amazing. That is the best offer I've had in 2,364 episodes. But they have to leave a review for you. Don't leave a review about me. Just say, you know, John Lee Dumas, how he's impacted your life. Do it. And it's a 30, it's 30 minutes. I normally would charge about $1,000 wow. for this. It's free. And we'll go through it. So we're going to do an assessment. Wait, for the record, I'm going to now leave a review for my own show to get this fire edition. So you better be doing it too. <laughs> so, or, or if you go to the best SEO book.com, the best SEO book.com, you can download the book for free. And when you download the book for free, open to chapter two, open to chapter two, download the ebook. It's free. And there's a checklist. So I'm just going to go through a few of them. Step one, build it on WordPress. What? Build it on WordPress. I don't want to build it on WordPress. Build it on WordPress. Don't custom code that beast. <laughs> build it on WordPress. Step two, get the GoDaddy Grow Package or a fast hosting service. It has to be reliable. But I want to host it with my mom's cousin. He lives in the basement. He's awesome. I love Bernie. <laughs> He's awesome. Quit hosting your website with Bernie. Stop doing it. Host your website with a big boy business, a big boy business like, grow, like a GoDaddy. Use the Grow Package so it loads fast. Step three, we got to optimize your title tag your meta description, and your meta keywords, okay? We got to do that. And in the book, it explains what that means, a lot of examples. Then we got to have 1,000 words of content per page. Why? Because Google wants 350 words of original HTML content, original words per page. So you want 1,000 words per page. 1,000 words per page. And if you Google search Ross Golan, R-O-S-S-G-O-L-A-N, he is the one who passed the Music Modernization Act, which basically allows musical artists, top 40 artists, to get paid for their music. He also writes songs for Selena and Justin Bieber. He's a guest. If you Google search his name, Ross Golan, you'll find me on page one somewhere. And that is because I wrote 14 pages of original content about him, so much so that my wife was at a cheerleading event. She came back and was disturbed that I hadn't moved my body, and I was still down in the man cave typing about <laughs> Ross Golden. And it's all original content, and I did. And right now I'm working on a 22-hour Bill Belichick series filled with 102 fun facts that nobody knows and 75 notable quotables so that when Bill Belichick types in his name, he shall find me. Are you a Patriots fan? I'm obsessive. Okay, because I am too. I'm from Maine, so I'm New England's. I'm not from New England. I have no geographical ties, but I started, somebody told me years ago, a very successful business owner, a billionaire, he said to me, you know, you have to hire character and train skill. You know, you never want to be held hostage by your employees. You want to bring in new talent, you know, every week, always be interviewing, you know. And I'm going, where are you getting this stuff from? And he says, oh, well, Bill Belichick. I mean, he's, he wrote the book on management. He's a, he's a fine coach, but you understand he is the general manager and the head coach. I mean, not a lot of players, not a lot of coaches pick the players and coach the players and pick their salaries. And that's what Bill Belichick does. And that's, I'm just an obsessive fan of Bill Belichick. Fire Nation, there's where the passion lies. And when you find that passion, go all in and do some crazy things like Clay does. And I think right now we're on number four, which is 1,000 words of content per page. So keep ripping through these. Yeah, so you want 1,000 words of content per page. Now, after you get 1,000 words of content per page, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your website has HTTPS encryption. So what, what I mean by that is that your site has to be encrypted so that it cannot be hacked as easily, okay? And you can purchase that from GoDaddy for like 80 bucks a year, all right? So now that your site is structurally built right, now that it's structurally built right, you got to commit to a regimen. you got to commit to a regimen, and the regimen is going to consist of two activities. And John Lee Dumas, you know this because you're an Amazon best-selling author. Totally. Everybody re reads reviews. Everybody reads reviews. Everybody reads reviews. According to Forbes right now, over 90% of consumers read reviews, and they actually read reviews. They prefer reviews as opposed to personal recommendations now. Because you all know, we all, we all have an uncle who's a bad plumber, and people ask, hey, so is, uh, would you use Jerry for your plumbing needs? 
And you go, oh, you know, Jerry's a good guy. And you're like, yeah, but would you use him for your plumbing needs? And you go, oh, you know, because there's a fork in the road. You could say, no, no, Jerry is a dysfunctional man. Don't hire him. And now you won't see Jerry at Thanksgiving. <laughs> or you could say, uh, don't, you know, y- yeah, Jerry's a great guy. Use him, which is a lie. And then you end up, uh, your friend uses him. And now all of a sudden you have the curse of a bad referral. That's the option. It's the fork in the road. That's the, that's the proverbial issue. So Google reviews, people can leave a review. Or on Amazon, they leave a review, and, and then they figure if there's enough of them, it must be true. And so you want to gather at least one Google review per day, if you're a, a, a small business, one Google review per day. And you want to get one video review per day on YouTube. So if you Google search my name right now on YouTube, go to YouTube and type in Thrive Time Show Conference Reviews or Clay Clark Reviews. Everybody has haters. We all have haters. I get it. But we have right now over 1,100 people on video talking about how our in-person two-day workshop was their favorite thing they've ever been to. Wow. Over 1,100 on video. And we have over 670, 672, as of right now, reviews on Google, uh, well over 1,000 on iTunes. And uh, it, 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 you just got to get a Google review every day, one, video, one Google review a day, one YouTube video review per day, and one page of content per day. Per day. You got to get into a routine, into a rhythm. And you want to find the keyword you want to be top for, and our search engine experts will help you figure out how much content you need to win. But if you want to see how much content I have, um, just go to thrivetimeshow.com, and then right in front of the URL, and we're getting kind of nerdy, right, in, right before you get to the HTTPS, type site colon. So site colon, like colon pal, I guess. Uh, like clear your colon, <laughs> colon. So site uh, colon HT, and you, you put it right, right in front of thrivetimeshow.com, and you will see right now we have approximately 7,860 pages. So again, Clay, how, how did you do it? Thrivetimeshow.com, right in front of the URL, type in site, colon, hit enter, and you can see Google is, is just saying we have approximately 7,860 pages they're counting right now. Or if you go to eitrlounge.com, uh, eitr are lounge.com and you put site colon in front of that you can see we have 6220 pages so if you wanted to beat elephant in the room you would need approximately 18,000 pages of content to beat me in Tulsa because you want to have three times as much content as the incumbent to win so you'd want to have 18,000 pages that'd be step one or if you're on uh, the Thrive Time show you'd need uh, like 21,000 pages of content <laughs> ouch <laughs> yeah and you've been doing some shows have you done is this your seventh show is it your fourth show how many shows have you done so far 2,364. I knew I was close. Let me just let me just try it out real quick here. Let me see. So I'm going to do a little check on your site. And right now we've got, uh, you have 3,160 shows. Apparently you've been busy, you know. So that's, to, to beat you in various search results, somebody would have to get about 9,000 pages of content. Wow. Yeah. Good and luck, Fire Nation. <laughs> good luck, yeah. And I would just say, now, the, other, the, the final step that I'll give the listeners, and you can download all these because there's so many more steps, but the final step is you want to be relevant. You want to do uh, press releases if you have something to talk about. So one of my clients right now, if you Google uh, Clay Clark Twitter, you can find the story. Or probably the best way to Google it would be to uh, search for Oklahoma man, Oklahoma man buys eight billboards. So one of my clients bought eight billboards. It says, Tulsa man uses eight digital billboards to declare love for his wife. His name's Josh uh, Wilson with Living Water Irrigation. We bought billboards that says, I love you more, Amy. And he's been on now the Kelly Clarkson show. He's been (laughs) on Good Morning America. He's been on People, every local news affiliate, every paper print, Fox News, uh, whatever Jack on the Web is. He's been on, I mean, all these different websites. And these people backlink to him. And when you get a backlink from a high-quality news publication, that helps you. But I know it's kind of hard to get backlinks, so you don't have to get backlinks to be top in Google. That's just one more way. But in the book, it's very linear, and you just check the boxes and do it, and it works. It's free to download if you go to thebestseobook.com. TheBestSEOBook.com and Fire Nation. Of course, if you want to just totally dominate, you're going to be getting the book Search Engine Domination because Clay completely kills it with that entire book. And of course, if you want that 30 minute free consultation, you're going to screenshot a review from Entrepreneurs on Fire, um, preferably in the Apple podcast section, and you're going to send it. Where are they going to send it, Clay, for that? You want to send it to info at thrivetimeshow.com, info at thrivetimeshow.com. That's where you want to send it. And then we're going to do a 30-minute, think about this, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Now, again, does it have to take 30 minutes? Does it have, No. 
I mean, no. I mean, if you want to get on the phone and say, I don't, I don't like WordPress. I freaking hate WordPress. <laughs> well, then that's probably a shorter call. But if you hop on there and you want to know, uh, we just, I met with a couple today. They own Papa Gallo's Pizza in Satellite Beach, Florida. Mm-hmm. They were just here today. They have almost doubled their size of their Wowzers. pizzeria in the past two years. Now, you have to have great service. Okay, we got great service, but I'm giving you real people you can check out. Google search um, Tulsa Chiropractor. Um, Dr. Breck, he just doubled his business there. Since I've met you, these people have doubled their business, and it turns out you can use money to buy goods and services and your time back. You can buy your time back. I don't think John Lee Dumas mows his lawn. John, do you mow your lawn? I do not mow my lawn. Oh, see, you can. Do you pay someone, or they work for free? They can volunteer. <laughs> I had to pay them. No, see what I'm saying though. You could buy your time back, and this is so exciting. <laughs> and I just feel like I had to put it into a book that would work for somebody like myself who had to take their ACT three times. I, I we got to take the nerdery out of it, baby. Fire Nation, search engine domination, get it, be squared, make it happen. Do the review, get your 30-minute free consultation. Awesome stuff. And we have so much more coming up after we get back from thanking our sponsors. If you're a creator looking for new ways to connect and interact with your audience live, then I'm excited to tell you about Speak Easy, a new app made by creators for creators that is uniquely built to help you monetize your audience. All you have to do is download the Speak Easy app, go live, and you'll be connecting with an interactive audience who can comment, give live reactions, join you as a guest, share with their friends and followers, and more. You can use Speak Easy in so many ways, live podcasting, show recordings, to upload pictures and videos you want to share with your audience or to host premium content people can subscribe to. Speakeasy doesn't censor content based on political, religious, or personal views. As long as you're not instigating violence, you can speak your minds. I'm going live on Speakeasy Daily Fire Nation, and I know you're going to love this platform. So what are you waiting for? Come join me for my next live show. Visit GetSpeakeasy.com to download the app. Follow me at John Lee Dumas, and I look forward to chatting with you live. That's GetSpeakeasy.com. Are you looking for a place where you can exchange ideas, share knowledge, and find invaluable mentors, co-founders, and investors? Sounds too good to be true, right? Thanks to HubSpot, it exists. And right now you can get instant access to a community of 16,000 plus business builders at trends.co slash MFA. M. Trends is a HubSpot community for founders and entrepreneurs that tells you what the next big thing is going to be months before everyone else and delivers access to analyst vetted business ideas and market signals straight to your inbox every single week. Inside Trends, you also have access to live virtual business training and Q&A sessions that feel like MBA lectures where you can learn everything from advanced marketing techniques to how to get fundraising from venture capitalists. A seven-day trial of Trends is yours for only $1 and a yearly subscription plus access to the community is $299 per year. Get a seven-day trial of Trends for only $1 at trends.co slash MFM. That's trends.co slash MFM. Clay, we're back and I just want to cut to the heart of the matter because you are an inspirational guy. You are motivates a lot of people. Fire Nation listening right now has got a little fire burning because of some things you've already shared. What drives you to achieve success? I've got a picture of my dad that I keep here on the studio when I do my podcast. And uh, my dad went to Oral Roberts University and he graduated near the top of his class. He was the star pitcher at the Little League World Series back in 1965. And he called me about three years ago and told me that he had Lou Gehrig's disease and was going to die in about 12 months. And when you recognize that, and again, I grew up without money, okay? But when you recognize that my dad, I'm 39. When my dad was 39, 38, 37, he had, with a college degree, graduated near the top of his class. He was, in the t- he was number two overall. He was delivering pizzas at Domino's and working the night shift at a convenience store to provide for us when he was my age. Think about that. And I hated my dad because my dad worked to provide for me. So I thought he didn't care about me. You see how twisted that is? So my dad got off the work shift. He got got done with work at Quick Trip at usually 3 a.m. So I set my alarm for three so I could see my dad. And we would watch Sports Center reruns. Da 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 da. That's how I connect. I would eat. I would eat burritos from Quick Trip with my dad. And now I'm 39, and I still wake up at three because of that. And so when I'm talking to you right now, or or the, your listeners, I'm not talking 
to an audience for the need of money. I'm simply done trying to earn money. I'm not trying to make money off of you. There's nothing wrong with making money either. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not a socialist. I get it. But I'm saying is there's, there's no need to live in poverty. We can live in prosperity. And when you have financial abundance, you can give more, be more. It's like a magnifier. You can give to the things you want to give and you can buy your time back. And now I've got five kids all going to private school, cheer lessons, drum lessons. I spend time with them. And I believe there's somebody listening right now who is a Tom Clark. So I only have 160 clients. I'm never going to grow our program. But when I work with our clients, um, I don't, it's weird, but when I look at them, it's almost like I see a hologram of my dad right next to him saying, teach me. I just want to know what to do. Because my dad didn't know what to do. So he went to some get rich quick seminars. They ripped him off. He went to the, you know, he tried to get the insurance license. He tried to become a real estate guy. He tried to buy land. You know, you know, you try these different things and there's seminars that'll try to, you know, get you excited and get you pumped up and then trick you into something. And I know you don't do that and I don't do that, but a lot of people do that. And so I'm just saying right now, if you're out there, because your your, your net worth, by the way, has nothing to do with your value as a human. I believe you're put on this earth for a reason, but if your net worth is not good and it's been not good since birth... I want to change the conversation. I'm a millionaire maker. That's what I do. I've already achieved my goals. A lot of people are 26 years old, and they haven't hit their goals. I hit my goals. I was 26, John Lee Dumas. We were doing 4,000 weddings a year at djconnection.com. I sold that thing, and my goal was to hire my dad before I was 30. So when I was 27 years old, I picked up the phone. Boop, 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 boop. I called 320-224-9308. I think my mom still has the number, and the other day I called it, and I don't know why. I just It's, it's a weird thing. I used to call my dad all the time on the way home. But I, you, you know, that's, that was the number. I called my dad, Dad, I'm going to hire you. He says, to do what? I said, just to be dad. There's no nothing. You just, you're hired. And he's, he just got laid off again. And he's going, are you, are you kidding me? I go, no. You're coming to Tulsa. Come, come. So he moved down here with my, he and my, he and my mom moved, moved down here, hired my dad. And then when my dad got sick, they were talking about, you know, my dad, he has a hard time breathing. He wore a mask. You could barely hear him. He's afraid. We're going to raspy. We need to talk. And my dad says, he looks, he, w- he would raise his eyebrows to get my attention because he couldn't talk. You know, he could barely whisper. So he raises his eyebrow. I go, dad, what's up? I take the, the mask off and he says, I, I want you to plan something for me. So I, we mm. started talking. I said, what? He goes, I want to I go to my reunion, but they won't let me go because they think I'm going to die. So I talked, and you got to have like a nurse person go with you. You got to have all the tubes and the lung pressure machines and all these apparatuses. And my dad, I paid for it. We went down there to his reunion, and it cost money to do that. And I used my money to do it. I didn't want to get paid back. And we went down there. He pulled up in his wheelchair. You know, reunions, a lot of times people don't show up. Everybody who was alive showed up for his reunion. He got a standing ovation when he came in. And he told me, he said, son, that is the highlight of my life. That's what he said to me. It's the highlight of my life. That happened. And then we threw him a going away party while he was still alive. So it's like a funeral that you get to attend, but you're alive. And Coach Eddie Sutton, the Hall of Fame basketball coach. Yes. And all these people. Uh, uh, Paul Pressey, the NBA coach, good friend of mine, who coached on the Lakers his last job. He now coaches at uh, uh, St. John's. Great coach and player in the NBA for years. He gave my dad. He gave my dad his NBA Bucks draft jacket, the the, the wow. jacket they give you in the hat when they draft you. He gave it to my dad. Like people like came and said, "Tom, you meant this to me," and he's alive. And that costs money to fly people in John Lee Dumas. It costs money. People don't have money, but I have money. So I used my money not to buy things, but to buy time. And that is why I do what I do. Fire Nation, if you don't have shivers right now, check your pulse because that is exactly why we do what we do. So we can live the life we want. So we can have the financial freedom, the location freedom, the lifestyle freedom, the overall freedom to make these types of choices for those who we love. Now you, Clay, have an amazing morning routine. I'm a big morning routine guy myself. So walk us through how you personally organize the first four hours of each and every day. Well, it is changing a little bit, so it is is true as of this morning, but it's going to change a little bit, and I'll talk about that. But I wake up at 3 a.m. The only guy that I know who beats me in the office is Jonathan Kelly, who I did. He's the co-author of the uh, book, Search Engine Domination. Uh, Jonathan uh, worked on on the search engine team and uh, essentially wanted to know how to get promoted. Uh, And I said, you know, beat me to work. And he's beat me to work every day since then. So big shout out to Jonathan Kelly. But I wake up at 3. I get to the office at approximately 4. 405, 355, depends on what kind of paperwork I'm knocking out. 
Then we'll work out for about a half hour. Um, and then I do my meta planning, which is all it, all it is. Don't, don't make it weird. It's meta time. Some people call it meditation. Some people call it prayer time. Just here's what it is. It's me just getting out my to-do list for the day while, you know, as I'm kind of getting ready to hop in the shower. And I'm just writing th- out things that I have to get done today. I, mean, I have a big typed out list, you know, but the things that have to get done. Like my wife's on jury duty today. That has to be done. I got to pick up my son tonight from basketball. That has to get done. Things that have to get done. I have a, a my attorney. I'm talking to him about a new project I'm working on that has to get done. I had to buy the land that had to get done. So I make a list and it takes me, I make a list and it takes me about a half hour to do it. And it's my list for my goals for my F6 life. So my goals for my faith, my family, my finances, fitness, friendship, and fun. My goals for my faith, family, finance, fitness, friendship, and fun. They call it my F6 life. I design the life that I want to live. Then uh, at 6 o'clock, that's our first uh, meeting where I coach our coaches. And each one of our coaches works with 15 clients. I answer all the client questions. And the day begins to go, and it goes fast. But uh, there's a little Bible verse I wanted to share with uh, some yeah. of your listeners out there, Matthew sixteen twenty six reads, For what good will it be for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? And I'm not saying you have to be a Christian. I'm not trying to make it a religious show. What I'm saying is that if you're not careful, your Monday leads into a Tuesday, which is usually followed by a Wednesday and a Thursday and a Friday. And then a Saturday kind of comes around the corner. And then there's a Sunday, and we're kind of going, well, next so someday, John Lee Dumas, someday I'm going to do this. But someday mm. is never on the calendar. It just, it, you know, I've looked at it. I've tried, I bought a lot of calendars. I got ones with dogs, and I got an awkward one with firefighters on it. I got the whole thing. And you open it up, and you're going, why are the firefighters not wearing much? Why are there so many dogs in this calendar? There's no someday. You can know, it doesn't matter which one you buy. You buy a sports one. You can buy an old old Kirby Puckett themed one. You can buy an old Minnesota Twins one. You can buy all that. But they don't have someday in there. There's no someday. So we got to design our life. And that's why when you were telling me on a, when we interviewed you, you were telling me about the uh, tax savings of moving to Puerto Rico. <laughs> and uh, I heard about the massive avocados. And so I did a crazy thing. I did it. I went down there. I checked it out. And I determined it wasn't a good fit for me right now, but I had a great time. But awesome. I did it. I scheduled time to do it. And so many people, we listen to your show, and we and I know you do your show not just for entertainment. You do it for edutainment, to entertain Truth. and to educate. You want to help people change their life. And we say, but if I take the action and it's wrong, what happens? Well, then you have to learn the rhythm of entrepreneur and of, of entrepreneurs. And the rhythm is this. Define what you think is going to happen. Act, measure, refine. Define, act, measure. Measure, refine. Like we're in the military. Define, uh, measure, refine. Define, uh, measure, refine. Define. It's like a, you know, you were in the military. You get it. Define, uh, measure, refine. That's the rhythm is you define what you think is going to work. Then you act. You act. You act as though your life is a limited amount of time. You act as though you might die at a day you don't choose, which is true. You act. You act without fear. You act. And then you measure and you refine. And you define, and then you act, and someone says, what if it doesn't work out? And you say, I rebuke you. And then you act, and then you measure. You, you actually track data. To track, that doesn't sound exciting at all. No, you got to track. And then you refine. That doesn't sound exciting at all. You just define, act, measure, refine, until your brain explodes. Fire Nation, I hope you're as energized as I am listening to what Clay has created for himself, for his life, for his family. And guess what? It all starts with that four hours each and every day. Like, I'm not going to say that kind of maybe cringed a little bit when he said by 6 p.m. what he had done by that time. And I'm like, that's actually when I'm kind of waking up. But you know what? To each his own, you create your morning routine that works for you, Fire Nation. And Clay, you actually have a podcast, the Thrive Time Show podcast, which, as you mentioned, I was lucky to be a guest on. And you talk a lot about no-brainers. What is a no-brainer? A no-brainer is a deal so hot. So beautiful, so attractive. It's like the tractor beam scene from that first Star Wars, The New Hope, where it's like Han Solo's trying to pull out of the tractor beam, you know, and the Wookiees going, (laughs) and they're trying to get, but they can't because the tractor beam, and it's done, 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 and it's pulling them in, and you want them to stop, and the whole thing. You can't can't stop it. It's pulling you in. It's It's a hot deal. So an elephant in the room, our haircut chain, your first haircut's a dollar. I mean, it's a doll. It's like a high-end haircut. It's it's like a country club for hair, and it's a dollar. It's so good. People say, "What's the catch?" And our salespeople, our call center says, uh, "We lose a lot of money. That's really the catch. So we want to wow you, so you come back. You know, because it costs us. If everyone's you know, it's, no, it's not a commission-only business. You know, it costs us about twenty-two bucks to cut your hair for a dollar. Uh, my partner, Dr. Robert Zellner, largest optometrist in Oklahoma. 
your first pair of glasses and the exam is $99. People say, how is that possible? How can I go to drzellner.com, Z-O-E-L-L-N-E-R.com? How can I go there and how do you make any money? And it's like, I don't. You got to come back and bring friends. That's that's the key. So, um, you know, like a no-brainer we have, I think, for your listeners is if you download thebestseobook.com, you go to thebestseobook.com, you download the book, it's free. And you go, well, how do you make any money? I don't, unless you like it so much you buy a tangible copy. I mean, why would I let you download it for free? I mean, I guess you could go to Kinko's and print it off and screw the man, right? I printed this at FedEx, all right. I saved some money. You could do that. <laughs> and, and you know people have done that with your books, I'm sure. Oh, they, big time. Oh, you, you, if you want to be really clever and go make, have them made mock, uh, you know, mock versions of it, and, and I get it, people will do that. But I'm just saying is I believe that people will respect the book enough to want to buy it. And then also at our workshops, what I've found at our workshops is that when people, by the way, if you, if you leave a review about the EO Fire show and on, uh, like we said, on uh, iTunes or uh, Spotify or iHeartRadio or wherever you want to leave a review and you screenshot it and you send it to info at thrivetimeshow.com, in addition to giving you a 30-minute one-on-one consultation, it won't feel rushed. It will not feel rushed. We will also... Also give you tickets to our workshops for just $37 as opposed to $250 because Whoa. we have a CPA who is paying the remainder of the deal. So I don't lose money. The CPA picks up a lot of clients, and so you can attend one of the highest-rated business workshops for 37 bucks just for reviewing the John Lee Dumas Show. That's a no-brainer. It's hot. I'm going to say two words, no brainer. So Fire Nation, I hope you're taking notes. I hope you're taking action. And Clay, let's end with a call to action. What do you want Fire Nation to do above and beyond everything else we've already chatted today? What's the one call to action? I want you to write this down, and that means I have to read it kind of slow. So I'll, I'll go kind of slow, and, and if it's okay, I'm going to cue up my, my totally licensed uh, monk, sure. monk music here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and, and Andrew, can I get some echoes? Are you prepared for some echoes, please? Are you got the echoes? So ready. Okay, here we go. Whatever you do, do it well. Do it so well that when people see you do it, they will want to come back and see you do it again and again and again. And they will want to bring others and show them how well you do what you do. Walt Disney. Translation, knowledge bomb, work as unto the Lord, not as unto human masters. The word work in the Hebrew language where the Bible was written means worship. That's what the word work means in Hebrew. It means worship. Work meant worship. There is not a separate word for work or worship in Hebrew. It's the same word. So you want to work as unto the Lord. You want to do so be so good that according to Steve Martin, Steve Martin said, you want to be so good people can't ignore you, just like my main man, John Lee Dumas. Wow. Okay. I mean, all I got to say first off is, Andrew, that was amazing. Good work on your end. And Clay, that was obviously incredible for all the amazing reasons. And Fire Nation, obviously you are going to go to thebestseobook.com because it's a no brainer. It is a no brainer. It is a no brainer. And of course, the book is the book that you got to check out. You've got to see search engine domination to believe it. You've got to see it to believe it, Fire Nation. And Clay, I just want to say thank you, brother, for joining us on the show today. You've again dropped so many value bombs. Any last piece of words or guidance you want to leave Fire Nation with? Um, I would just, I just want people to, to understand the the urgency of the of, of of the situation, the urgency of the situation. If you think about Mr. Kanye West, uh, what six months ago, Mr. Kanye mm-hmm. West was uh, releasing albums that are very different from what he's doing now. You take out the religious context of it. There's an urgency to Mr. Kanye West. There's an urgency to Mr. President Trump. There is an urgency to Sarah Blakely. There is an urgency to John Lee Dumas. There is an urgency to the game changers. It's, 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 you're acting as though you have a limited amount of time. And if you act as though you, this is, how, this is how I view my life, I view it like I'm wearing one of those bomb packs. It's ticking. In any moment, people are going, Clay, why is that ticking? I, be, I believe it's, and it's going faster. And I believe at some point, I'm going to be dead. In a day of yeah. I, that I didn't choose. And I don't want to leave anything unsaid when I'm dead. I don't want to leave anything undone. 
I don't want to go to a party I don't want to go to to impress someone I don't know. I'm not going to buy things I can't afford to impress people I don't know. I am not going to be on podcasts that I don't believe in. I'm not going to interview guests that I don't like. And I'm not going to do anything I don't want to do because I've earned the financial freedom. And you can too. I'm not that smart. Look me up. Go to page two on Google. (laughs) Type in Clay Clark. Read about me. Check it out. See the Forbes articles. I'm not that smart. I'm just very... Uh, simple. I do what works. And I know there's somebody out there who has the curse of knowledge right now. You're so freaking smart that you're caught in like a black hole of, of TED Talks. And you've watched all of them. And now you have a great concept, a great grasp on the theory of, re- of relativity. But you don't have a job. So it's so important that we apply what we're learning on each and every one of these EO Fire podcasts. Because this show right here has some gold. Fire Nation, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And hello, you've been hanging out with CC and JLD today, so keep up that heat. The number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. We are Jared and Jennifer Johnson. We own Platinum Pest and Lawn and are located in Owasso, Oklahoma. And we have been working with Thrive for business coaching for almost a year now. Yeah. So so what we want to do is we want to share some wins with you guys uh, that, that we've had by working with Thrive. Um, first of all, um, we're on the top page of Google now, okay? Um, I just want to let you know what type of accomplishment this is. Our competition, Orkin, Terminex, they're both $1.3 billion companies. They both have two to 3,000 pages of content um, attached to their website. So to basically go from uh, virtually non-existent on Google to up on the top page is, is really saying something. Um, but that's come by being uh, diligent to the systems that, that Thrive has, um, by, be, by uh, being consistent and diligent on, on doing podcasts. Um, and stay on top of those podcasts um, to really help uh, with, with getting up on uh, uh, with their listing and ranking there with Google. And also, we've been um, trying to get Google reviews, you know, asking our customers for reviews. And now we're the highest rated and most reviewed pest and lawn company in the Tulsa area. And that's really helped with our conversion rate. And the number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. Wait, say, say that again. How much are we up? Four hundred and eleven percent. So four hundred and eleven percent were up with with our new customers. Amazing. Right. Right. So not only do we have more customers calling in, we're able to close those deals at a much higher rate than we were before. Right now, our closing rate is about eighty five percent. And that's largely uh, due to, uh, first of all, like our Google reviews that we've gotten. People really see that our customers are happy, but also we have a script that we follow. And so when customers call in, they get all the information that they need. Uh, that script has been refined time and time again. Uh, it wasn't a one and done deal. We It was a system that we that we followed with Thrive in, in the refining process. And that has obviously, um, the 411% shows that that, that that system works. Yeah, so here's a big one for you. So last week alone, our booking percentage was 91%. We actually booked more deals, more new customers last year than we did the first five months, or I'm sorry, the first, we booked more deals last week than we did the first five months of last year from before we, we, we worked with Thrive. So again, we booked more deals last week than the first five months of last year. And it's incredible. But, but the reason why we have that success is by implementing uh, the systems that, that Thrive has taught us and, and, and helped us out with. Some of those systems that we've implemented are group interviews. That way we've really been able to uh, come up with a really great team. Um, We've created and implemented checklists. That way everything um, gets done and it gets done right. Uh, It creates accountability. Uh, We're able to make sure that everything uh, gets done properly, both out in the field and also in our office. Um, And also doing the podcast, like Jared had mentioned, that has really, really contributed to our success. But that like you said, the diligence and um, consistency and doing those in that system has really, um, really been a, a big blessing in our lives. And also, um, you know, it's really shown that we've gotten the success from following those systems. Yeah. So before working with Thrive, uh, we were basically stuck. Um, really no new growth um, w- with our with our business. Um, and we, we were in a rut and we didn't know. Oh, oh, sorry. No. The last three years, our customer base had pretty much stayed the same. We weren't shrinking, but we weren't really growing either. Yeah, and so we didn't we didn't really know where to go, what to do, uh, how to get out of this rut that we're in. Um, but Thrive helped us with that. You know, they, they implemented those systems. That they taught us those systems. They taught us the knowledge that we needed um, in order to succeed. 
Now it's been a grind. Absolutely, it's been a grind this last year. Um, but we're but we're getting those fruits uh, from from that hard work and, and the diligent effort that, that we're able to put into it. Um, so again, we were in a rut. Thrive helped us get out of that rut. Um, and uh, and if you're thinking about um, working with, with, with Thrive, quit thinking about it and just do it. Um, do the action, um, and you'll get the results. It, it will take hard work and discipline, um, but but uh, but that's what it's going to take in order to in order to, to really succeed. So uh, we just want to give a big shout out to Thrive, a big thank you out there to, to Thrive. We wouldn't be where we at, where we're at now um, without their help. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Moore. I'm a pediatric dentist. Through our new digital marketing plan, we have seen a market increase in the number of new patients that we're seeing every month, year over year. One month, for example, we went from 110 new patients the previous year to over 180 new patients um, in the same month. And overall, our average is running about 40 to 42 percent increase month over month, year over year. The group of people required to implement our new digital marketing plan is immense, starting with a business coach, videographers, photographers, web designers. Back when I graduated dental school in 1985, nobody advertised. The only marketing that was ethically allowed in everybody's eyes was mouth-to-mouth -mouth marketing. By choosing to use the services, you're choosing to use a proof and turnkey marketing and coaching system that will grow your practice and get you the results that you are looking for. I went to the University of Oklahoma College of Dentistry, graduated in 1983, and then I did my pediatric dental residency at Baylor College of Dentistry from 1983 to 1985. Hello, my name is Charles Kolaw with Kolaw Fitness. Uh, today I want to tell you a little bit about Clay Clark and how I know Clay Clark. Clay Clark has been my business coach since 2017. He's helped us grow from two locations to now six locations. We're planning to do seven locations in seven years and then franchise. And Clay has done a great job of helping us navigate anything that has to do with like running the business, building the systems, the checklists, the workflows, the audits, um, how to, how to um, navigate lease agreements, how to uh, buy property, um, how to uh, work with brokers and builders. This guy is just amazing. He's, he's This kind of guy has worked in every single industry. He's written books with like Lee Crockerell, head of Disney with the 40,000 cast members. Um, he's friends with like Mike Lindell. Um, he does Reawaken America tours where he does these tours all across the country where 10,000 or more people show up to some of these tours on the day to day. He does anywhere from uh, about 160 companies. He's at the top. He has a team of uh, business coaches, videographers, and graphic designers and web developers, and they run 160 companies every single week. So think of this guy with a team of business coaches running 160 companies. So in the weekly, he's running 160 companies. Um, every six to eight weeks, he's doing Reawaken America tours. Every six to eight weeks, he's also doing business conferences where 200 people show up, and he teaches people a 13-step proven system that he's done and worked with billionaires, helping them grow their companies. Um, so he's, I've seen guys from startups go from startup to being multimillionaires, um, teaching people how to get time freedom and financial freedom through the system critical thinking, document creation, um, making it, putting it into, uh, or organizing everything in their head to building into a, a franchisable, scalable business. Like one of his businesses has like 500 franchises. That's just one of the companies or brands that he works with. So amazing guy, Elon Musk kind, kind of like smart guy. Um, he kind of comes off sometimes as socially awkward, but he's so brilliant and he's taught me so much. When I say that, like, like, Clay is like, he doesn't care what people think when you're talking to him. He cares about where you're going in your life and where he can get you to go. Um, and, and that's what I like most about him. He's like a, a good coach. A coach isn't just making you feel good all the time. A coach is actually helping you get to the best you. And Clay has been an amazing business coach. Through the course of that, we became friends. Um, my, I was really most impressed with him is when I was shadowing him one time. Um, we went into a business deal and listened to it. I, I got to shadow and listen to it. And when we walked out, I knew that he could make millions on the deal. And they were super excited about working with him. And he told me, he's like, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to turn it down. Um, because he knew it was going to harm the common good of people in the long run. And uh, the guy's integrity um, just really wowed me. Uh, it brought tears to my eyes to see that this guy, his, he doesn't... His highest desire was to do what's right. And um, uh, anyways, just, just, just an amazing man. So anyways, impacted me a lot. Um, he's helped navigate. Anytime I've gotten nervous or worried about uh, how to run the company or uh, you know, 
navigating competition and 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 an economy that's like i remember we got closed down for three months he helped us navigate on how to stay open how to how to get back open how to um, uh, just survive through all the covid shutdowns lockdowns because our clubs were all closed for i'm rachel with tip top canine and we just want to give a huge thank you to clay and vanessa clark Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Tip Top Canine. Just want to say a big thank you to Thrive 15. Thank you to Make Your Life Epic. We love you guys, we appreciate you, and really just appreciate how far you've taken us. This is our old house, right? This is where we used to live two years ago. This is our old neighborhood. See, it's uh, nice, right? So this is my old van and our old school marketing, and this is our old team. And by team, I mean it's me and another guy. This is our new house with our new neighborhood. This is our new van with our new marketing. And this is our new team. We went from four to 14 and I took this beautiful photo. We worked with several different business coaches in the past and they were all about helping Ryan sell better and um, just teaching sales, which is awesome, but Ryan is a really great salesman. So we didn't need that. We needed somebody to help us get everything that was in his head out into systems, into manuals and scripts and actually build a team. So now that we have systems in place, we've gone from one to 10 locations in only a year. In October 2016, we grossed 13 grand for the whole month. Uh, right now, it's 2018, the month of October. It's only the 22nd. We've already grossed a little over 50 grand for the whole month, and we still have time to go. We're just thankful for you, thankful for Thrive and your mentorship, and we're really thankful that you guys have helped us to grow a business that we run now instead of the business running us. Just thank you, thank you, thank you times a thousand. The Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshops are the highest and most reviewed business workshops on the planet. You can learn the proven 13-point uh, business systems that Dr. Zellner and I have used over and over to start and grow successful companies. I mean, we get into the specifics, the specific steps on what you need to do to optimize your website. We're going to teach you how to fix your conversion rate. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do a social media marketing campaign that works. How do you raise capital? How do you get a small business loan? We teach you everything you need to know here during a two-day, 15-hour workshop. It's all here for you. You work every day in your business, but for two days you can escape and work on your business and build these proven systems so now you can have a successful company that will produce both the time freedom and the financial freedom that you deserve. You're going to leave energized, motivated, but you're also going to leave empowered. The reason why I've built these workshops is because as an entrepreneur, I always wish that I had this. And because there wasn't anything like this, I would go to these motivational seminars, no money down, real estate, Ponzi scheme, get motivated seminars, and they would never teach me anything. It was like you went there and you paid for the, the big chocolate Easter bunny, but inside of it, it was a hollow nothingness. And I wanted the knowledge, and they're like, oh, but we'll teach you the knowledge after our next workshop. And the great thing is we, we have nothing to upsell. At every workshop, we teach you what you need to know. There's no one in the back of the room trying to sell you some next big uh, get rich quick, walk on hot coals uh, product. It's literally, we teach you the brass tacks, the specific stuff that you need to know to learn how to start and grow a business. And I encourage you to not believe what I'm saying, and I want you to Google uh, the Z66 auto auction. I want you to Google elephant in the room. Look at Robert Zellner and Associates. Look them up and say, are they successful because they're geniuses or are they successful because they have a proven system? When you do that research, you will discover that the same systems that we use in our own business can be used in your business. Come to Tulsa, book a ticket, and I guarantee you it's going to be the best business workshop ever and we'll even give you your money back if you don't love it. We've built this facility for you and we're excited to see you. Tip Top Canine, and I'm the founder. I'm Rachel Wimpy, and I am a co-founder. So we've been running Tip Top for about the last 14 years, franchising for the last three, four years. So someone that'd be a good fit for Tip Top, loves dogs, they're high energy, uh, they want to be able to own their own job, but they don't want to worry about, you know, that high failure rate. They want to do that like bowling with bumper lanes. So you give us a call, reach out to us, and we'll call you, um, and then we'll 
send you an FDD, look over that, read it, fall asleep to it, it's very boring. Um, and then we'll book a discovery day and you come and you can spend a day or two with us to make sure that you actually like it, make sure your training dogs is something that you want to do. So an FDD is a franchise disclosure document. It's a federally regulated document that goes into all the nitty gritty details of what the franchise agreement entails. So who would be a good fit to buy a Tip Top K9 would be somebody who loves dogs. Um, who wants to work with dogs all day as their profession. Um, you'll make a lot of money, you'll have a lot of fun, it's very rewarding. And who would not be a good fit is a cat person. So the upfront cost for Tip Top is $43,000. Uh, and a lot of people say they're generating doctor money, but on our disclosure, the numbers are anywhere from um, over a million dollars a year in dog training, what our Oklahoma City location did last year, to 25, 35 grand a month. Um, to train and get uh, trained by us for Tip Top Canine, to run your own Tip Top Canine, you would be um, with us for six weeks here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So we've been married for seven years. Eight years. Eight years. So if you're watching this video, you're like, hey, maybe I want to be a dog trainer. Hey, that one sounds super amazing. Go to our website, tiptopcanine.com. Click on the yellow franchising tab. Fill out the form and Rachel and I will give you a call. Our Oklahoma City location last year, they did over a million dollars. He's been running that shop for three years before he was a youth pastor with zero sales experience, zero dog training experience before he ever uh, met with us. So just call us, um, come spend a day with us, spend a couple days with us. Make sure you like training dogs and um, own your own business. Well, the biggest reason to buy a Tip Top Canine is so you own your own job and you own your own future and you don't hate your life. You get an enjoyable job that brings a lot of income but is really rewarding. My name is Seth Flint and I had originally heard about Tip Top Canine um, through uh, my old pastors who I worked for. They trained their Great Pyrenees uh, with Ryan and Tip Top K9. They did a phenomenal job and uh, became really good friends with Ryan and Rachel. I was working at a uh, local church and it was a great experience. I ended up uh, leaving there and working with uh, Ryan and Tip Top K9. The biggest thing that I really, really enjoy about being self employed is that I can uh, create my own schedule. I have the ability to uh, spend more time um, with my family, my wife and my daughter. So my very favorite thing about training dogs with Tip Top Canine is that I get to work with the people. Um, obviously I love working with dogs, but it's just so rewarding to be able to um, train a dog um, that had serious issues, whether it's behavioral or you know whatever, and um, uh, seeing a transformation, taking that dog home, and mom and dad are literally in tears because of um, how happy they are um, with the training. If somebody is interested, I'd say don't hesitate. Make sure you like dogs. Make sure that uh, you enjoy um, working with people. Uh, because we're not just dog trainers, we're, we are customer service people that help dogs. And, um, and so definitely, definitely don't hesitate. Just, just come in and ask questions. Ask all the questions you have.